How's it going YouTube? Crazy K here with the world's best home defense shotgun which is clear by the way. Today I'm going to be installing a Butler Creek side folding stock. Tools we're going to need are a 6, 4.5 and, and 4 hex wrench. Alright, first thing we're going to do is remove the original pistol grip. I've already loosened this up. It's not... It would normally be tighter than that. And you're just going to set that to the side. Alright. Next step. You're going to have this aluminum block and a bolt. It's going to go through there angularly like that. You're going to take your pistol grip and insert the aluminum block and you're going to tighten this into the shotgun just like the original one was. And you're going to use the number four hex on this one. And you're going to want to get that good and tight. All right. Now the Butler Creek folding stock does come with a little cap that you can place on here and just utilize the pistol grip if you wish for some reason. It also has a little storage compartment built into the handle. Okay, next step. You're going to disassemble the hinge on the stock here. You're going to open it into the open position And you're going to loosen this set screw holding this button in. And then this button will slide right out. Alright. Now you're going to depress the spring and carefully remove the stock from this little hinge joint. And just make sure your spring doesn't shoot out. Alright, set that to the side. Now we got this big chunky metal piece. And this little bolt. You're going to line those two holes up. You want the open spot of the metal hinge thing on the right side of the gun. Once you got that lined up in there, you're going to drop in this bolt and tighten it up. And this bolt is a four and a half. Once again, you're going to want to get this fairly tight. Alright. Next step. Replacing the stock in the spring. You're just going to depress it. And slide it in. Let it lock in there. And on your button here, wherever your little marks are from the set screw, you're going to want to keep those in the same position when you reinsert. And you're going to tighten it down with the four. You don't want to get it too tight because then it won't, the button won't want to function right. I don't know why, but too, too loose and it won't 
hold too tight and you can't push it. Too tight. That looks about good. Yep. And you see now you have a installed Butler Creek folding stock. Pretty cool. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.